Looney defenders catches made touchdown Panthers. Alabama's first ever high school girls flag football state championship game was a doozy. Gets the ball away up in the air. Catches made was her feet in. They're saying no, it was no good. Depends on which one came down first, and I think the right foot yeah, came down first. Yeah, it looks like it was in. The game went to double overtime with a controversial call clouding the end result. In the end, Hewitt Trussville pulled out the win over Smith Station High School last December. However, unfortunately, there would be a childish man ruining the fun. Bill Lumpkin, an Alabama sports journalist who was covering the game at the time, took a picture from the game and wrote on his Facebook page, why does covering girls flag football make you think of lingerie football and pillow fights? Megan Larson, head coach of Smith Station, then read it on air. She did not mince words. She told the outlet it disgusted her, made her angry, and reflected a problem in society, especially when self-image and body image are so important. Parents, coaches, and school leaders say they are outraged after the reporter made the post sexualizing female athletes. The group is urging the AHSAA to ban the reporter from all high school sidelines. Larson would go on to say, it made me angry to think that any of my girls would be looked at in that way while they are out trying to play a sport. It makes me sick to my stomach knowing that he was standing on the sidelines. Brad Cook, principal of Smith Station High, came out vehemently against Lumpkin the Third's post. It definitely tarnished what they have worked so hard to get to and that moment to really show what they are all about and what type of athletes they are and the character they have for him to make that statement was deeply hurtful for the girls and how hard they have worked all year said cook izzy gold senior director for content at al.com where lumpkin the third worked as a freelancer apologized we received an email alerting us about the post in question we have addressed this internally and will seek to work with other freelance reporters for the remainder of the playoffs gold told news 3 in a statement in turn lumpkin the third deleted his posts amidst the backlash for what it's worth, Bill Lumpkin III also nuked his Twitter account, which went by the handle MrBill05. Lumpkin III is the son of legendary sports reporter Bill Lumpkin, who sadly passed away in April 2021 at the age of 92 after a short battle with cancer. In his career, he won more than 100 national and state sports writing awards during his long career. Coach Larson would tell News 3 that she hopes to never see Lumpkin anywhere near one of their games again as they try to build the high school sport and and its legitimacy. Scott Buttram of the Trustville Tribune had a message for Lumpkin III. These are elite student athletes who excel in athletics in the classroom and in our community. They are, each and every one, a tremendous source of pride in Trustville, Buttram wrote. They came together and took on a new sport and did so with enthusiasm and commitment that led to this week's accomplishment. Mr. Lumpkin can think whatever he likes but I know who these players and coaches are, champions. Larson also had one more message for Lumpkin through the local press. I think the Alabama High School Association has done a great job this season making our sport, this new sport, so exciting and so fun and so important for the girls. For this man to say it was like a pillow fight is very insulting to what they are doing for me. I would never like to see him on any sideline of any Alabama High School Athletic Association event ever again.